let me lock in the setup here. I know I don't really do anything outside of playing just Kaya, so like, I just entertain it. Or I just somewhat entertain, like, playing a different character through a different setup. And that seems to do it for me. But yeah, for, for Valencia, I'm actually a little spooked. I, I remember saying that I didn't really have the confidence to, to really take it at Dallas. And I can I can't say it like impaired me, but like I understood like why. Like I kind of lost the grip of the game essentially for a bit. Hopefully now, by the time um, Valencia comes around, I'll be able to be like more consistent. Get all that out of the way. Recently, I kind of I kind of had my my separate doubts about Spear. Like, they, it always ends up changing, because it's like, it, she's just not the character she used to be. And she is still a good character, which I do, I do believe is probably the case. She's just not the same, like, it, it, she doesn't fit my playstyle anymore. Because that's exactly where the nerfs are kind of like getting to, like they go to me. Three, two, one, Vector. Man. Vector's... Vector's just an okay legend. I've never seen him as like anything crazy. Like even now I don't I don't see him as anything crazy. Yeah. This guy plays so slow it like hurts. There we go. Okay, he attacks early and also doesn't. Very awkward. Since he's on three decks though, every every attack that he misses is like way easier to punish. Try to get a good extension there, but uh, I was just on the edges the whole time. I also couldn't close the gap between me and the me and the player, so. This guy attacks so early. Like you can kind of just wait on him. Recovery, strangely, is a lot harder to punish than I believed it was. We're just like going for it when it's like not true. They're like not confirmed. If I can somehow extend, that'd be terrific. Well, I'm gonna do that with both. Yeah, if he misses Sair, he immediately puts himself on the ground, which is expected when you're playing three decks. Like he'll have he'll have less time to actually be able to miss an attack. Yeah, 
I just need to take my time with the punishes. I mean, I can literally afford it like that. And also just being cautious of the stairs, because it's... It filters. Like, there are different types of stairs. The rising stair, the mid stair, and then the falling stair. It's... It's a lot to keep track of, but we're good. We got a really good extension that's... That's about 80 damage. I might... Wake up. Okay. Good response, too. Nice. We actually got the adaptation. I was saying during the, or like I was saying like a few minutes ago that we should actually put some money into just getting voice packs out for this game, like for both casters and top players. And the reason why I say that, or like even include top players when they could just include casters is because the point of Brawl is to win a tournament. Like that's like their whole thing the whole victory, bragging rights, like all that stuff. And the lore is actually really like really well written for that kind of thing. It's just that nobody actually tends to read about the lore. And if they do, there's just like, it's just whatever. Like, it doesn't pique anybody's interest. So inconsistent in those areas. Easy. I didn't mean to backdash it. Consistently threat him with with Sarah will give him something to worry about. If I'm gonna stay stacked, you know, like might as well. Yep. Yeah, when I'm landing against him, it, it like I have to go to him to actually hit him, like a Sarah or something. But if I land like on him, he'll like walk away. Yeah, like I said, I can't like land with the with the Nair without actually going to him first. As long as I take my time with my punishes, I should be in a much better position to actually just win the game.
He was playing more to invade my space at that point. Like he was like always like gearing towards me. But he kinda doesn't have the range to deal with it. Platforms quite a bit, I'm gonna be honest. Let me cover that real quick. Wow. That read's gonna work once and never again. That that was supposed to only cover one dodge and that was like the perfect one too. Let's stuff him out. Since we're actually getting into this game, I'm gonna put in some more effort because I hate getting taunted on. Like, I thought I grew over it. Like, normally it shouldn't really affect me. It's an animation in a game. But, like, now it's starting to get to me.
Nice. I can't say he's not playing like like bad at all, cause he has a lot of fundamentals. So I'm just gonna assume it's an alt, and if it's not an alt, then holy, he's up next. Nice basic conditioning. Okay, let's see if we can extend. I'll, I'll play spear for this one. Just to cover the platforms. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Only on 3 defense, man. In all seriousness though, that guy played extremely good. I'm gonna assume it's an odd just because like, everything he had was like free. <laughs> Juggling. I haven't lost stage yet. Nice, I actually forced it out.
I bet if I, my commentating is actually low. Whenever you start actually getting genuine practice, like you don't find the time to do it. Especially like against these weapons. With bow, it's like it's a little uncomfortable, but it's still manageable. But against guitars, it's a lot less easy to manage. At least not without like being extremely focused. their own cuz holy they just got mixed I honestly enjoy like playing against guitars whenever the momentum actually checks out but other than that it's like it's it's pretty frustrating to play against I'm gonna be honest No, no, so much damage we're missing just now. Did the spot dodge just in case. If anybody's wondering. And like it actually made sense. I wasn't like I wasn't close enough. There's too many routes on the ground so whenever I'm like too close against guitars. First and only time I'm gonna go for it, I can almost completely assure you that the guy's gonna like dodge after sidelight again. Got too much on me. shot at this.
I need to get that moon skin now. As soon as, bro, as soon as I as I finish recording this video, I'm buying it. There we go. Ultimately, so far, we've been doing exactly what Kai is good at right now. In this case, would be like neutral breaking, and then just extensions. Well, there are characters that do it better, but it's like from long range, or like like stage. This guy's like so slippery. I can't hit him except for like hit him in like his general direct. Cause what is he? Oh my god! Like what? I don't understand. How did he generate so many jumps and just use them all so quickly? I didn't. I don't understand that at all. He's playing too fast. That's okay. Oh right, Mordex, my favorite matchup. Like again, it's not because like the matchup's completely positive, but it's because I played against this character for so long. Missed. It's okay though. It's just like we have our footing. This guy moves a lot. He moves like enough to like where he like disjoints himself from actually hitting me. And for those who don't understand, moving too much is when you put yourself in a position where you're always just moving too much and you move too fast and you don't really understand the reason why you're doing such things. 
so then you're stuck. You're stuck putting yourself stacked for literally no reason. Because that whole that moving too fast thing would stop if you were if you were to actually bait a move, but if you can't bait a move, then it's like it's kinda over. No bro. This this part is pretty scary. Like losing losing stage just in general, like always feels unnatural, so don't blame yourself if that's how it feels like whenever you play the game. That's how it's supposed to feel. Because you also have that power of holding stage. So just know that your opponent also feels the same. I guess it'll just be uncomfortable no matter what. And for good reason. I don't really want to lose the stock right now. You see? No. Dick. so risky I'm gonna keep extending the stock yeah nah it, it, he needs to get away from me ASAP also I just teched like magically I gotta look at that back and replays with that to get to live on that stock at 233 okay but just like that we're gonna end it off i made some i made some decent progress it just goes to show that i'm still more consistent and that i'm not entirely like falling off i want to make enough progress in tournament to where i don't really have these doubts anymore but it's good to know that i at least have some idea that i'm i'm not that bad i'm just not bad and if i am bad then I definitely did not show it today. I'll see you guys later. GG's. Peace.